What's up guys, this is Sam, and today Apple released iOS 11.1 Beta 3 to developers, and if you happen to be a public beta tester testing the same firmware right now, you will probably be seeing public beta 3 very shortly after this video goes live on YouTube. Lately, Apple has been pushing out the public beta version just a couple of hours after the developer version. One week ago today, iOS 11.1 Beta 2 was released, and if you missed that video, you should definitely go check it out, because iOS 11.1 Beta 2 was huge, unlike iOS 11.1 Beta 1 in today's Beta 3 update. We saw hundreds of new emojis, 69 new individual characters. We saw the reintroduction of the 3D Touch app switcher gesture. We also saw some pretty big performance upgrades as well, but iOS 11.1 beta 3 is quite the opposite. No big changes. I haven't been able to find anything on the UI side of things that's new or different. There are no new features, not even any big changes. One thing that I have noticed that a lot of people are talking about on the iOS beta subreddit is that apparently the 3D Touch lag that was prevalent for a really long long time has been corrected. I've noticed this every once in a while on my devices, but I know iPhone Plus devices in general, iPhone 6 Plus, 6S Plus, 7 Plus, and now the 8 Plus have long had issues with 3D Touch being extremely laggy when you go to 3D Touch on an app icon. But in iOS 11.1 Beta 3, it looks like that may have finally been corrected, which is super exciting for anybody that has been experiencing this issue. Aside from that, once again, there's not a whole lot to talk about. I picked out a few things from the release notes that I thought were worth mentioning. iOS 11.1 beta 3 fixed an occasionally occurring issue with audio latency or distortion on iPad Pro 12.9 inch second gen or the 10.5 inch iPad Pro. Data from an external GPS accessory is now accurately reported, silent push notifications are processed more frequently, and the loading of webmail clients now behaves correctly in Safari. Those are the four changes that I thought were worth pointing out in addition to the 3D touch lag being fixed. A couple of new reports have come out lately saying that Apple Pay employees are internally testing Apple Pay cash and peer peer Apple Pay, but even in iOS 11.1 beta 3, we do not have the feature for developers or public beta testers yet. I am very confident that this will be included in the final release version of iOS 11.1. It's definitely possible that there could still be bugs or glitches, and obviously when you're sending money, you don't want those to be present. So Apple employees are testing it. The feature is definitely not dead. Um, I just really hope we see it soon because it looks like a crazy feature. I cannot wait to use it for myself. And I think it's something that a lot of people are really eager to try. As of right now, that's what you should know about iOS 11.1 beta 3. As always, if any more changes are discovered, I'll be sure to update the blog post link down below over on my website. If you enjoyed watching this video, it helps me out if you drop a like down below. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos on iOS in the future. I've been Sam. I hope you guys are doing great. And I will talk to you in my next video.